I'm packing uh, K10 Mini out of its uh, shipping crates. Yeah, 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 and, and what scale is K10 Mini uh, compared to? K10 Mini is about one sixth scale of uh, the K10s. Sit on a workbench here or on the ground? I don't have all the. Just going to set that in there, but actually, no. Uh, so this is K10 Mini. Uh, it's very similar to the other K10s in that it has uh, uh, four wheels. So there's four drive wheels, and each wheel is independently steered. This side, um, there's a rocker here. So this is a rocker. Yep. This side here. So same basic configuration. The, the actual mechanics are quite the same, but they're they're pretty close. Um, inside here, well, I don't think the laptop is actually in here, but. Uh, we uh, basically put a, an IBM ThinkPad in here as well. Mm -hmm. and, you said uh, you basically started with the computer and built up from there? Yep, basically we started out with a, a small IBM ThinkPad and we, we scaled the rest of the robot around that. Um, and that was just because we were trying to make this in a very, very rapid period of time, just building a, a robot that would be software compatible. So it runs exactly the same software stack as uh, K10, the larger versions. Uh, does the same kind of thing with the uh, stereo cameras here for navigating. It looks at the terrain, figures out what's safe, what's not safe. This one also has a, a small laser scanner here. This is a single uh, uh, planar laser scanner, and we use this for basically avoiding obstacles. Um, this one is actually a, called it's a Hokyo uh, scanner. It sees out to about, uh, about a dozen feet or so. And uh, the interesting that, thing, and the other one saw five football fields. Is that is that the uh, same? Is that the same? The, right, the, the big, the bigger one does. We actually, actually, we also have this the same uh, uh, sensor on the uh, the other K10s as okay, well got it. for basically avoiding obstacles that are nearby. Uh -huh. The big 3D laser scanner is really used for modeling of uh, the 3D terrain. Right. This is more for safety. Um, it's interesting. The the big difference about this, of course, is that it's a, it's a lightweight robot. You can actually. You can actually pick it up in one hand, and uh, it's designed so that uh, the emergency stop is actually the handle. So when you pick it up, it, it kills it and it stops stops moving. Um, but it's it's a it's an interesting robot because it's much smaller, so it's something that operates close to the ground. And one of the interesting things about this is, well, can you do things like surveys on a smaller scale than the large robot? Uh, we've done some testing, uh, actually with Honeybee Robotics, where they put a uh, prototype pneumatic excavator. So you think of it kind of like a lunar vacuum cleaner. You're trying to actually pick up uh, the, the lunar soil, which is very, very fine dust. And so one way of doing excavation is basically sucking things up like a vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. And so they took this robot, they put their excavator on it, put this in a low pressure test chamber filled with uh, a lunar soil uh, simulant, and did some tests this past summer. And just like they did, we are probably going to do that sort of work here at Ames uh, mm -hmm. in the sandbox uh, that's left over from the regular challenge. So. Great. Anything else that's um, cool about this that you didn't already mention? Well, what's interesting is that you know this is uh, it's about one sixth the scale of the the K10s, but it drives at uh, about a third of the speed. Mm -hmm. So you know. On, a, on the same scale, it actually drives faster than the So other it, looks, it looks like it's going it, it, way it, faster. It does, yeah, it looks faster. Right. And, uh, you know, the thing is, you put this down on the ground, and it really looks like a, like a dog. <laughs> it's, uh... Nice.